All right, so uh, welcome. This session is called uh, PrimeNG, Native UI Components for Angular. Is everybody enjoying the conference? This is my first time, so I, I, I'm enjoying it. I think it's really cool. What is PrimeNG? PrimeNG, I'm sorry, Angular is all about components, right? But when it comes to actually building an application, you need actual real widgets to work with that can make your application look good without you spending lots of time uh, trying to get uh, uh, the perfect uh, data scroller component written. So uh, PrimeNG provides over 70 responsive UI components that are actually native to Angular. Also has accessibility built in, which is an important thing for enterprise development uh, and governments. And it's open source to see the, the progress of the data table for uh, PrimeNG. And as you can see, it has lots of different features, right? Um, so I'm not going to go through all of these. But of course, you can very easily get a basic table. Um, you also can do dynamic columns, which is a very common thing when you know that the, the actual data you're going to display is going to depend upon something back from the server. Um, maybe only some people can see certain fields. Um, maybe some fields are going to be hidden and shown. Who knows? So another common thing is having an editable, editable data table. Okay, so this is basically the feature to have inline cells being editable. Basically, for any of these fields, you can just click on it and then change the value. And you notice you can also put in custom, like additional components. It's not just limited to a simple edit control. Uh, let me move on. Um, so I've gotten through some of these components. Obviously, there's more. Uh, there are, you know, charts. These are built on top of Chart JS. Okay. Uh, so this is not the most extensive chart library in the world, but it's a good start. Um, and so if you've got basic chart needs, it'll work out well for you. If someone just says, hey, throw, throw a line chart in the page, you're good to go. Um, we talked about the messages. There's also multimedia stuff. There's uh, drag and drop support. There's also things like uh, file upload, um, stuff like that. In general, now you've gotten a good handle on sort of how the components work is responsiveness. So this is one, one of the things that's been baked into these components from day one, which is the, the idea of actually being responsive. All right, so now you see, I'll make this bigger, because I can't, guess I can't. We actually collapsed it, you know, to one single column. And if I just make it a little bit bigger, you can see that we get the columns back. You can also have more control, like maybe dropping off one or two along the way as well. The other thing I want to talk about are the application templates. And basically, they just make it easier if you're building a whole app that you want to use the PrimeNG components, you can actually get one of these templates, um, and they, they just let you get started very easily. Um, they're fully integrated with Angular CLI. Um, they're also touch optimized. They're built with SAS as well, CSS3, HTML5, et cetera. All right, so this is another one. And you can see it has a similar idea, right? Just sort of a dashboard page, a dashboard uh, page to show you what's going on. Um, but also, there are a few different things here. There's um, one of the things that I like about this one is since this one is actually a material design, material design theme, um, you can see just by looking at the input controls, but also they've imported all of the material uh, design icons. <laughs> So all these are included. Now, obviously, it's not hard to do that yourself, um, but it's nice to have it just sort of be included. All right, thank you very much.